Windsor's Muslim community is giving. Unbelievable. Encouraging. Committed. Excellent. Innovative. Optimistic. Knowledgeable. Generous. Dynamic. Engaged. Educated. Warm. Accepting. Caring. Compassionate. Welcoming. Loving. Family. Home. Windsor, Ontario is the southernmost city in Canada. Today, it is also the home of over 30,000 Muslims. With its active mosques, Islamic centers, and organizations, the Muslim community is a prominent part of the Canadian mosaic due to its hard-working members and dedicated volunteers. It started in the early 20th century when Muslims immigrated to Windsor. By the 1940s, there were about 16 families living in the area. The J.C. family was one of the earliest in Windsor. The late Naif J.C., a community pioneer, was very active in the Detroit Muslim community and was instrumental in building their first mosque in 1952. Naif J.C. was the initiator, the motivator, and the supporter of the functions that we had in the 50s and in the 60s. Motivated by his active father, Jafar Jaisi led the first Windsor Islamic Youth Association in 1951. There was a stimulus to the Windsor community to start doing things, and this was started by the youth in the community. And they did form the Windsor Islamic Youth Association, which had programs uh, both uh, from the point of view of education, uh, involving professional groups coming in and religion, business, politics, addressing them. They had fundraising efforts and they got the community started in an organized way. The community was made up of about 12 to 14 families. And from those 14 families we may have, we had about 14 members in the Windsor Islamic Youth Association. By the 1960s they accepted the seniors and it became the Windsor Islamic Association. In 1960, the annual conference of the Muslim Associations of the U.S. and Canada was held in the Cleary Center in Windsor. Close to $12,000 were raised at this event to buy a home on Wellington Road in downtown Windsor, which served as the community's first mosque. The Windsor community was growing rapidly at that time and our house on Wellington Street was not adequate, so we sold it in 1967. And for two years, we prayed at the YMCA in Windsor. It was clear that the community needed a bigger mosque. The Ladies Auxiliary helped fund a new mosque by making and selling food every week and through fundraising dinners. I never call one sister and tell her to come and help, and she say no. Right away, they said, okay, I will come. As soon as when I called them, I said, we need help, we have to work, and they'll, they'll come and help. So anything we could find, way to make a money for the mosque, that's what we used to do. The Windsor Mosque was then built at the corner of Dominion and Northwood in 1969. The Muslim community began to grow bigger. It was obvious that the, uh, that the previous mosque in Dominion was small and we had to expand. And the expansion was done over several years. And we bought land adjacent to the mosque. The community just kept growing. We had Muslims from about 74 different countries come to the mosque. As the community grew, the Windsor Mosque was expanded in 1993. In the same year, the first Islamic school, Anur School, was established in the old part of the mosque and was relocated to Jeanette Avenue in 2003. Later, Al Hijra Academy opened. Both schools have families, faculty, and students who are actively involved in the community. We teach our children to be open minded, to understand the society around them to deal with the society. That's why we have all these activities with the society around us. We depend on the experience of the elders and the activity and volunteering of the young ones. I like doing, like, helping out with the Windsor community with, like, food drives because I'm very fortunate with the things that I'm blessed with and I feel as a Windsor citizen that it's my duty to give back to the people who are less fortunate than me. We have monthly loony drives where we collect money for be it within the community if there's a need or outside the community if there's a need. The kids in the school doing lots of uh, volunteer work like kids alliance, you go around the community picking garbage and cleaning the area around the school. They do help in uh, science fair projects with the young one helping them to finish the project. At least once a year, we do can drive and code drive and distribute it to the community. They bring lots of coats 
to school and then we donate them. I really love it. It's, it's really, it makes me so proud. I hope I will help kids feel better. The Muslim community purchased Rose City Islamic Center, RCIC, off Empress Street in 2007. Today, RCIC is used as a mosque and a recreational center that is accessible to the greater Windsor community. It's actively involved in volunteering and has its own after-school program called Mac Youth Leads. We have an after-school program uh, that is in partnership. It's part of a youth collaborative, an after-school youth collaborative that includes uh, RCIC. The Brothers Big Sisters, the Salmon Chain Action Group, Drew Our Place, and the Youth Family Resource Network. So I've also worked with uh, with Matt Gibb in the soup kitchens with Salvation Army and things like that, helping to make sure that everyone in our community has a, has a healthy dinner. The RCIC is also involved in the annual MS Walk with the Multiple Sclerosis Society and the Big Bike with the Heart and Stroke Foundation. They also hold frequent blood drives with the Canadian Blood Services. What we try and do is uh, organize the community to help out uh, in different avenues where there's a, where there's a need. We try and place ourselves in a situation to basically help facilitate that, uh, you know, to, to basically help out and show that Muslims were not just about ourselves, but we actually care about our community. The RCIC has a very active youth program, which includes a boys basketball team and a girls youth group. They also hold several youth events, including annual summer camps and weekly youth nights. When I work in the youth work, you find a lot of youth, they're lost, they don't know what they want to do when they grow up, they have a wrong group of friends, so you want to try and more or less help them find better friends, be strong in their faith, and at the end of the day, give back to the community because what comes around goes around. You want to always give to the community because we are Canadians, we are living here, and we do want Canada, Windsor, to be our home and we want it to, to grow in a safe uh, environment. So the reason it's important to keep the gym uh, working with the youth is that the youth love sports. So they come here and it gives them like a safe, secure environment for them to to have fun in a proper way and at the same time it gives them a chance to become friends with fellow uh, players on the team and everything like that. The Windsor Mosque also has active youth programs including their Weekend Muslim Youth Club or MYC and their boys basketball team and boys soccer team. The youth are involved in many volunteer activities around the city through a volunteer initiative program. They work with the Heart and Stroke Foundation, Community Living, the United Way and the Canadian Mental Health Association. What we just started in January was the VIP program, which is a volunteer initiative program. And that's the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This VIP program is totally designed for our youth to spend time outside the community. If there's a nonprofit organization, they're limited on resources, they need people to, you know, whether it's, you know, help a barbecue, to put up a chair, to, you know, hang a poster, that, those are the type of things that uh, we're, we're getting involved in. So really we contribute with the others and we involve with our community as Canadians working together to improve our country. The University of Windsor's Muslim Student Association, which started in the mid-1990s, is also involved in a number of volunteer activities, including Relay for Life and CIBC's Run for the Cure. You know, MSA is a part of the Greater University of Windsor community, and um, for that reason, we have a duty to get involved in these kind of things. It's part of our duty as Muslims on campus to give back and to be a positive influ uh, influence and to be a positive agent of change. I think the charity within Islam is a really important thing and a really amazing thing. You know, it's like trimming your branches. You'll grow so much better if you just give a little bit away. The Windsor community has always valued giving back to the greater community. This is often done through different ways, including cooking food for the needy, running a food bank, and holding an annual food drive in the month of Ramadan. Uh, we used to cook, for, we cook four times for uh, downtown mission. Four or five ladies we work in, and we make the food from the mosque. We take them downtown and we serve it there. And we usually, every time we make the dinner, they ask us when you're coming back. We actually operate our own food bank within the mosque here, and there is quite a few families that come here on a weekly basis to take um, food from that food bank. And another thing that we do is we try to allocate our money to as many food banks throughout the community as we can. So whenever there's a food drive, we try to contribute as much as we can. We actually run our own food drives every year. I remember the first year at Devonshire Mall when we did this, and we had collected that day 500, just over 500 boxes. And they were going to five different charities. Last year, we collected over 1,100 boxes, 1145 I believe was the number, and 11 charities. 
we're a part of it. So we've grown a number of boxes and a number of charities. The community has also initiated frequent blood drives held at various Islamic centers to help replenish the blood bank of the Canadian Blood Services. What I understood from the Canadian Blood Services was that the Muslim community had such a diverse variety of blood types so they were um, more than happy to tap into our, our, our blood supply so that we could uh, donate our amazing variety. The community has also been active in preserving the environment and has been participating annually in tree planting with the Essex Region Conservation Authority. The community has planted the highest number of trees in the last five years. Every year, um, Erka holds a tree planting event on Earth Day, and the Muslim community comes out in very large numbers. The youth have also started their own organization, driven by their passion to sustain the environment. So I started off uh, this organization called Together We Flourish to bridge communities and have a strong mosaic of Canadian culture. How it started off really was after having this uh, green machine or green in Kenilworth which turned into a green machine after it expanded outside of Kenilworth. What it does is it collects food scraps from the neighborhood and donates it to community gardens where it gets composted there. The other projects that I have started include Start Art, Gal Pal and educational workshops. So what we're really focusing on right now is the community garden which a Rose City Islamic Center generously donated their front portion of their land for us to have it there. And we want this garden to be both therapeutical as well as giving back to the community so anybody can just pass by and pick up a fruit as they're walking past it. The Winter Islamic Association has started an Islamic Social Welfare and Assistance Program, also known as ISWA, to address local needs. ISWA uh, uh, generally helps families who, who have some form of a social program. It could be domestic violence, it could be parents, youth conflict issues. There's a food bank component as well where families who need food come to, to, to ISWA and they're assisted with food as well. ISWA has collaborated with many agencies, uh, the MCC, Children's Aid, uh, and a number, St. Leonard House, a number of other agencies out there. And basically what they do is they partner with these organizations and uh, to build a relationship where when there's a need for, uh, for, for those services that are offered from the outside communities, it's what taps into that as well. In 2010, the Winter Islamic Council known as WIC was formed. It serves as an umbrella organization for Winter's Muslim community and its non-profit Islamic organizations, mosques and centers. The WIC has been able to organize combined events for the Winter and Essex County Muslim community, including an annual appreciation dinner. Throughout their journey, Muslims in Windsor have grown and evolved into a well-established Canadian community. There's a harmony, and everybody here speaking the same language, the language of love. We see ourselves as part of the Canadian fabric, and we need to have a presence here in Canada because we're living here, our children are living here, everyone's living here, so this is our home. I don't know what you call Canadian, everybody is Canadian, but I mean you are English Canadian, French Canadian, Italian Canadian, and we are Arab Canadian. We have, every one of us has something to offer. When you empower people, they become more active in their community through volunteerism. And by doing so, they further their community and in turn, better their country.